And we're back. Welcome to round one. Our opponent is Reiko. Got to thank him for letting us record this match. Always good to be polite to your opponents. All right. This hand seems like a keep. We've got a two drop, three drop stuff to make thopters happen. We're on the play, obviously. We got a removal spell. Hopefully, Bully gets in there, gets a couple damage in, lives his life. So live your life. <laughs> All right, let's do it, and we are off to the races. By that I mean the frame rate is chug chug chugging along as we are off to the races, but that's fine. We've got ourselves a majoring bully. And honestly, folks, isn't that really what life is just all about? Getting your majoring bully in. Actually, turn three, I'm going to drop Thopter Engineer, swing three. Next turn, after that, drop Gear Port Gear Crafter. Keep swinging in the air with my Thoptas. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? Alright. He's got a planes. Nobody panic. Man has a land. Dun 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 dun. dun. All right, I'm not sure what's happening here. So he's slow rolling us. He's making a sphere of the land. Consider me afraid, sir. I'm I'm, I'm a feared. I'm a feared of your planes. Well, the 5-drop was not what I wanted to draw, but at least we're not going to be color-screwed. Um, you know, it's not like we have, like, a bunch of white cards in hand. But I really do need to hit, like, three land in a row. Or at the very least, like, two, like, one land now, and then maybe, like, another land a little bit later. I can afford to miss a couple land draws. I don't think I can afford to miss this next one necessarily living on a fish island approaches the unreal and rush is stuck in my head well I'm glad that we didn't see a two drop here because that means that majoring bully is gonna get in there get some of that damage in that we like so much that should not be in the deck <laughs> cut all the planes out of the deck and that should not have been in there well That's bad. So now he has flipped the planes down in response. This is a comedy of errors, ladies and gentlemen. Planes are being flipped. White cards are being put into my mono red deck. It's not great. Yeah, that could have been anything else and I would have been happy. Maybe he's got... Ooh, so a Celestial Flare choosing to waste my majoring bully, which leads me to believe that our opponent has a slower hand. Well, we have a slower hand too if we can never actually get any of our mana out. Um, I don't think our chances are bad though. We can't miss the next line drop. Alright, so he's playing white green. Uh this is disgusting. I needed that land. I needed a board state. That's gonna get renowned and then it's gonna be trouble. It's gonna be trouble for me. Alright, Stalward Aven. And all of your stalwardiness. We have to hit a land here. Alright, we do. Good stuff. Good good start. Uh, off off to, not a great start, but a decent start. So I'm going to go ahead and run off Thopter Engineer still. I think that's just the best plan. Uh, we'll pass the turn back. Because then next turn, if he swings in for one, I'll take it. Then I'll play Gear Poor Gear Crafter. I'll get in for two. Um, which is good. That's what I want, I think. 
Or if you play something particularly troublesome, I can lightning javelin it. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not married to this plan. I am sad that this guy didn't get in for a little more damage. Um, you know, would have been nice. What does he have here? Yellow's force mage. Well, Yellow's force mage is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and take three then. Launch is the unreal for those who think and feel. Yep, go ahead. Just swing in for seven. Get your three in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the damage. I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm already taking the damage. I'm not even. I ain't playing around. No mo. You got it, dude. You're, you're gonna get me. Swing in with your Stalwart Aven. I already took the damage. I'm not messing around. I know your Stalwart Aven is strong. Take it to my face. Now he is renowned. He is renowned as the most Stalwart of Avens. Well, that's not entirely what I wanted to see. Another land would have been great, certainly, but it's acceptable. Um, make some thopters here. We're not, like, winning the damage race by any stretch of the imagination right now, but... A little mistype there on my part. It's fine. Nothing like it. I do like... I do like the art on this guy, like his weird little shoulder pads are kind of cool. Alright, so that's going to be our turn. Then next turn, if we don't hit a land, I can just subterranean scout, grab, make gear, poor gear, craft or unblockable, swing four. Um, that puts him to 14, and then we've got him half dead with Chandra's Fury Lightning Javelin combo. So we might be able to pull this one out, in all honesty, even with the awkward little stumble. And granted, he could just drop something just ludicrously powerful right now and we could we could be in for a good old fashioned walloping. He lives in fear of us now. Look at that. Something big. Yeah, that's big. <coughs> yeah, that's decent. <coughs> Ooh. If he swings the stalwart Aven, who's tapped? Who's, who's getting tapped? Yep. That's fine. If he swings the both of these guys, I'm definitely active treasoning heavy infantry and then just crushing him for a ton of damage. Oh. Is it just Yeva? Interesting. Our opponent is a wise man. Um, very wise man indeed. Just Force Mage. Well, that changes some things. I think I'm now more inclined to block. Yeah, I'll block here. Bummer. Really wanted him to get aggressive there. I'd crack him in the face for a lot of damage for eight, and then I'd have him pretty much I'd have him almost dead. I would have him exactly dead then, as long as I survive the next the following turns. Well that just is not good at all. I don't think. Yeah, this is starting to get a little, a little uh, annoying. I think on the. Make that making that thopter unblockable and then swinging, obviously. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I am not pleased with the state of the land. I might even. 
I can take my lumps though for a little bit. That's why I made the block earlier. I didn't want to like immediately be forced to make every chump block that I could. Like this guy, this this D bag can swing in all he wants, but like I can just swing in with everybody or like lightning javelin to kill the flyer, which I might have to do actually. Um, and then I've got guardian automaton too, which at some point is definitely going to be playable. Sure. Two upon free blade. Interesting. The mid rangiest. Our opponent is playing the mid rangiest deck that he knows how to. He can attack freely, I think, with heavy infantry, and I don't think he attacks here with Aven. I think we just gonna we're just gonna stare at each other for a little bit here. I need to hit land in the worst way possible. All right, we got there. So now, now I'm gonna go ahead and play out this guy. I'm not going to use active treason just yet. What I want to do is I want to double block heavy infantry with Doctor Engineer and Guardian Automaton. Um, if he's got a combat trick, he's got a combat trick. That's whatever. But then after that, I can act of treason the Aven, and then just swing in for four points of damage, depending on who's left alive and still have a blocker left over for the Topon Free Blade. And then where does that leave us? Not in the greatest of straits, although I don't think we're in any real danger now. It's not like our opponent has played some huge bomb. It seems like his deck is more of the green-white, bashy-bashy variety. This is Jiraga Invocation. I'm going to cry. It's not Jiraga Invocation. It is going to die, though. It's going to eat a Lightning Javelin. That has to eat a Lightning Javelin. I can't afford to trade it. Yep, you get to eat, you get to eat a Javelin to your face. Nothing like Grilled Centaur on the Barbie. Oh, yeah. I'll double, I'll double block. I'll bite. If he's got the combat trick, he's got the combat trick. That's absolutely fine. Approaches the unreal for those who think and feel. You'll trade your heavy infantry, you'll trade your 5 drop for my 4 drop, and I'll gain 3 life. That seems pretty good. Or you'll waste the combat trick that I know that you have in your hand. Which is also fine. Okay. Wow, he chose Engineer. I wonder if he just didn't want my guy to gain life. Or me to gain life, I should say. For those who wish to be, must put aside the alienation. Alright. Land is decent here. And we are about to go in, ladies and gentlemen. Dropping this javelin on the Farika's Disciple. Airing that bad boy out. Gotta get my scry on, obviously. If it's a land, it's going to the bottom. Ah, oh, it's another lightning javelin. Excellently done, folks. Uh, and then, obviously, I am going to swing for five here and tilt the race back in our favor and now we've got the best possible plan which is we're gonna block Topon free blade with our 2-1 if he kills the 2-1 that's fine because uh, then this will get uh, renowned and then I will leave up guardian automaton to block it next time to gain three life and then tilt the race back in my favor a little bit uh, if he plays something absolutely backbreakingly brutal and swings in with Stalwart, which, like, if he plays, like, a giant, like, seven-drop bomb here, like a big creature or something, I'm going to active treason it. And then, yeah. Living on a lighted stage approaches the unreal. Ooh. 
That is not helpful here, I don't think. So this is actually, so despite me not, somehow not taking Blessed Spirits out, which I didn't know that I didn't do, uh, we're actually in not terrible shape. Blocky block block. Block, good sir. Absolutely blocking the Topon free blade there. I don't mind that that block on our opponent's part, uh, move on our opponent's part. It has vigilance, so he could like basically leave it up anyway, and I'm not going to let it get in. Limits the number of attackers. Yeah, this is not going to be useful for us. If this was Artifact or Enchantment, it'd be awesome for him. He could just dome our our automaton. It's going to be awkward in about two seconds though, because we're going to act a treason the Aven, and then swing in for seven points, and then we've got Chandra's Fury in reserve as well. Plus this other uh, Lightning Javelin basically means that we've got, I think we've got this game relatively on lock here. Swing everybody, obviously. Um, assuming our opponent is going to block the three points of damage and then just take four, putting himself to eight. Yep. Not bad, not bad. Mountain is huge. No other tricks. No tricks, only trades. Or just death. Alright, we've got him half dead with Chandra's Fury and Lightning Javelin alone. We've got him pretty much dead. Living on a lighted stage approaches the unreal. Sure. That's a guy that does stuff. For you. I do like Farita's Disciple, although I don't know if it's necessarily a good card in this current matchup. Is he swinging? Wow. You are so bold, sir. A bold man. Bolder man than I. Well, that's 100% getting Lightning Javelin now, and then he's just dead on board. Wow. All right. If he'd left that back, we were actually in a much more awkward position, because we would have had to figure out who was getting killed where, but not anymore. He's just he's just 100% dead now. Oh, that's not true. He could have, like, a life gain spell of some kind. He just goes QQ. That's <laughs> awful, I'm sorry. Well, gotta get my scry on. Look top. Come on, pull down bar. Come on, pull down bar. What is happening? Okay, so when this happens, folks, for those of you playing on tapped out, or untapped, sorry about my phone there, you just go back to lobby, and you wait for this thing to stop being dumb, which usually takes a couple seconds. Do, 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 do. And then you re-enter your game. Okay. Living on a lighted stage approaches the unreal. For those who, who what's my target? Obviously the the monster. <laughs> 
Alright. So now we're getting our scry on. It's a mountain. It's going to the bottom. Obviously going to the bottom. And then obviously we're just going to crush him for five here. And then I think this is just game. I can't believe he swung and that was so aggressive. No no pressure on board and then the swing with the style would even. I'm I'm shocked by that still. Although maybe he maybe he's like thinking he'll draw maybe he's playing to his outs, you know what I mean? Now that I think about that, he could have like something outrageous. Swing for five. Are you serious? Are we lagging out again? Nope. Alright. Cool. We're back. Alright. Swing for five. And now we've got Chandra's Fury to dome him in the face. Or Subterranean Scout to just end it. Right her right now. He may just choose to scoop and not show us anything else. It's good to know he's got a Yeva's Force Mage too. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how our opponent uh, gets out of this. Actually, I really have no idea. Trying to think of like all of the things that could save him. I don't think there are many, in all honesty. Good old Guardian Automaton just doing his work. Keep ourselves intact. If I can kill him without showing him Chandra's Fury, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to swing in now, and then based on what he does, I will either Chandra's Fury or not. He has to block, his immediate block has to be to Automaton, and then he goes to 1, and then next turn, Goblin is lethal, and I'm fine showing him Goblin. I don't want him to show you, see the, but if it's like a lifelink spell, I'm Chandra's fury and I'm not even going to let him get the chance to get back in the game. Yeah, the Aven does not die there. Can't... I'm... <laughs> yeah. As much as I would like to win this game, I'm not gonna illegally kill his Aven. That's so funny, though. Like, thinking about all the little errors that I used to do when I used to play Magic. Um, when BT Malloy started playing, which seems like forever ago, even though I know it was just a year, um, we brought him to a GP, and then... <laughs> He he used Soul Tie Charm on a morph, and Soul Tie Charm's rules text is like destroy target mono colored creature. And good old Brendan used it on a colorless morph. I, I'll, I'll never like it's the little errors like that. And like when I started playing, I had old cards from Ice Age, so I used stuff like banding. We had no idea how banding worked, so we just made up crap for how banding worked. It was great. School schoolyard magic is the best magic. After going to, like, four GPs and, like, PPTQ qualifiers and all this other stuff, playing online, I do like playing online. I love recording. But schoolyard magic is the best magic. Uh, what is this? Titanic growth? Is that enough? It is. I won. Cool. Showing me Kithion's tactics and Titanic growth. And I'm going to go side out this stupid white card that I somehow missed. 
Oh, that was atrocious. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to take that out. Well, despite my boneheadedness, uh, we actually got there. Despite a slow hand. And my boneheadedness, I should say. Guardian, Automaton. Automatons. Bum, bum, bum. And Blessed Spirits. Blessed Spirits has, like, no place in this deck. Alright. And Guardian, Guardian Automaton is very good because it trades with his Freak as Disciples. Favorably. Yeah, this is fine. We've got Fiery Impulses for his Topon Free Blades. Or Topin Free Blades. Topan Free, bla free Blades. Topon Free Blades. I don't even know. Words. With insufficient tact. Oh, he just forgot to put his graveyard back in the deck. Yeah, just, we're just gonna have him hit scoop and then draw a new seven. There's like, cause now, now his deck is like primarily just weirder. And I'd rather have him do that. Living in the lighted stage approaches the unreal. Just reshuffling his deck, and then we're good. I'm still like this hand. We've got our two fiery impulses for reasons. Uh, basically, just to make sure that we don't die instantaneously to Topon Freeblade or any other sort of guy. Like, how, and what's great is we can like wait and see what happens. Like, if he plays Yeva's Force Mage or something, and just burn it out. I'm burn it out, digging deeper. The, the javelins. All right, so we we got we got burnt belt. We got jokes. We got jokes. We can survive for a little while till our automaton comes alive. We're gonna need to draw a little more action, obviously, but. I'll wait till Yava's force. I'll I'll wait a turn till Yava's force mage comes out. Although, he did show me Titanic Growth. He could just do that to survive. In second thought, I might just Sorcery Speed Fiery Impulse it. I'll pretend like we just drew it. This will be good once we get our Dragon Fodders. This is great with Thopters. It's great with Dragon Fodders. I actually really, really like Sigil of Valor. Uh, Topon Aesthetic from Shards of Alara was a very good card, and this is actually like a strictly better in like equipment version of that card. With insufficient tact. Alright, him having no plays is awesome for us too. Like, if that had been Stalwart Aven, we would have been in, in much bigger trouble. But it's not Stalwart Aven, and now we can run up this Dragon Fodder, so now our Fiery Impulse is basically just a Lightning Bolt. This is very good. And the next turn... If it's, like, anything with three or more toughness, I'm just going to burn it EOT, and then run out the Guardian Automaton, and then just go to work. You give it to Farika's Disciple, it's, it's getting impulsed. <laughs> Goblin Sniffer is spectating. What a name. Yep. That's getting impulsed.
three to that dude. Got to kill the freak as disciple and make sure that it, our opponent just doesn't have a, a plan anymore. And text that out. Um, wow, a second javelin. Sweet Jesus, this is going to be brutal. Uh, obviously we're going to get aggressive for two here. Um, that's the most we could get aggressive for, even if we had had the sigil up. But I'm clearly going to play out my automaton. And then just get to work. And just as the cha-cha slide suggests we should do. Let's go to work. And then if he plays another Freak is Chosen, it's going to get Lightning Javelin. If he plays his Big Dude McBig Dude Tin, I'm going to sigil this up and swing 5 every turn. And that can get Lightning. That can get... That can get Javelin. That can definitely get Javelin. Oh, or I could play Boggart... Brute. I think I'm actually going to play the Brute out. I like the Brute. I think he's good. Living on a fish island approaches the unreal For those who think and feel Also, Boggart Brute is very good with Sigil of Valor. I'm telling you, man. Mono Red Sigil of Valor. It's a deck. Get your Thopters. Get your Goblins. Get some Sigils. Sigil yourself up. Ooh. Ooh. Evolutionary leap. Very cool. Well, now you can definitely get um value and dodge my removal spells it's pretty decent so he's probably going to use it as a block as block fodder he's not going to get the chance to i'm going to lightning jab on it knowing full well that our opponent will most certainly attempts to sack it to evolutionary leap. That's fine. You got your one for evolutionary leap, unless it's titanic growth. In which case I just swing with the bogger brute anyway. And we're fine. And we're fine. We knew that was happening though, but didn't care either way. Seismic Elemental. I'm actually gonna keep Seismic Elemental on top. I know I don't have the land for it, but if I if if in the event that we stall out, which it doesn't look like we're going to, and I need um I need a way to no. So the first thing you got was Cleric of the Forward Order. Cool. don't know if it's going to save him. But, it's definitely a good card. But yeah, the thing about the Seismic Elemental is I have Titan Strength, I have Lightning Javelin. If I need to dig for the fifth land and I don't get it, I can still find it. And I will desperately try to find it. Because, I'll be honest, the card is very good. And I would like it very much. We also have him dead two different ways. So, like, if he plays a creature out and I can manage to kill it with Lightning Javelin. If he plays one creature out, I can kill it with Lightning Javelin. If he plays two creatures out, I have to kill one with Lightning Javelin and then swing in with Bogart and Automaton to force the block. I'll probably swing with the Goblins, too. If he plays one big creature out in the hopes that, like, that's going to contain me. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> Rock Smaller does not do it. Because what we do is we attach Sigil of Valor to Bogart Brute to make it swing 6, and then we Titan Strength Bogart Brute. Or alternatively, that's 5 there. No, it's better to just kill him with the Sigil of Valor 
Titan Strength combo. Sigil of Valor. Swing six. Game? Question mark. There could be something else. I don't. I know honestly. I don't. I haven't realized like if there's like anything zero mana cost in the set to kill me. All right, we got there, folks. The Sigil of Valor Thopter Goblin deck is actually a thing. Which I thought it was only a thing in red blue where you could make a ton of Thopters, but it was awesome. But. It is a real thing. Thank you so much, of course, for watching, everybody. My name is Kyle Lott for Draft Radio. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You never have to do it in that order, but I certainly appreciate if you do it. And hopefully, I will see all of you fine folks in our next game. See ya.